My name is Andrea Jones. I'm being set up here in America by the Ku Klux Klan and by the Black Freemason Brotherhood. I am with child. Um, they've been torturing my pregnancy for about 50 months. The baby is still alive in me. They also took my son saying that they were raping my child to death about a shooting where I shot the father of my children in the leg in self-defense and I was not guilty. I was not convicted, but they abducted my child through a family courtroom while I was in the jail on the charges after telling me that they were gang raping my child with the Ku Klux Klan. So my child's father is Caucasian and the Brotherhood of the Ku Klux Klan and the Freemasonic uh, Black Freemason Brotherhood said that they were having my son screaming. I'm holding him in different locations as a hostage and raping him for white supremacy, for white America. Saying that they were worshiping the devil, um, that they had denounced Jesus Christ, saying that they had denounced Jehovah, and simply because my skin was brown, said that they were raping my son for him because he was white. His charges include rape, drug possession, theft, and assault. And he was on probation and was convicted for assault. He was attacking me pregnant in my home. And this is the pregnancy that they have been torturing. They're lying about my pregnancy and lying about the whereabouts of my son. They have a male named Tracy Gilbert that is helping them to try to set me up to be murdered. While staging to have documents saying that the Ku Klux Klan has custody of my child saying that I could never see my son again. I have 18 YouTube channels, about four TikTok channels, putting out the information, and they're going through a woman named Cynthia Overa who said she was a grand witch in the Illuminati, in the KKK, saying that she was handing my son over to be gang raped by thousands of white males and black males, Hispanic males, until he was dead. Because I shot a white male in America. As a mother, if another woman is saying that you said that you were raping her child and that she has not seen her child again, why would you continue to make excuses against the mother instead of simply returning her child? That ought to let you know that I'm telling the truth and that Cynthia Overa is a child molester. She told me that she was and God said that she was. So she needs to return my child or pay the lawsuit money through the United States government.